Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in not Hearts of Iron 4, but Europa Universalis 4, where, to be honest, I've never put this on the channel before. I don't exactly know how to play, but I hope you're all having a great day. So the Ottomans. Um, yeah, I've heard that the Ottomans here are one of the easier countries to play as, so this is why I'm playing as the Ottomans. And at the time of this recording, DLC basically just dropped for EU4, and I'd actually like to learn how to actually play it and take a lot of feedback from everyone uh, who's watching. If you know how to play EU4, you know a few tips that I should be aware of, please, for the love of God, let me know, because I could use your help. Because, for example, trade. I, I, I trade these their numbers here, and there's trade nodes, I know that. Things go down, things come back. Efficiency, merchantalism. Hey, let me know in the comments below because I not bueno at that. Anyways, um, yeah. To be honest with you, I have tried to play EU4 before. Oh, we can't vassalize them. That sucks. Uh, but I have played with using console commands just because I had no idea how to play. It is what it is. But I do know that I like money, and money means you can have a bigger army, and bigger army means you might be able to take over more places. But you also might have more revolts. So. And we also have missions, which is really cool. City of the World's Desire, so we want to own Constantinople first. I am playing, I'll let you know, like I said earlier, with the latest expansion from June 2020. And, let's see, we have current piety. We're very biased, or quite biased, towards mysticism, which looks cool. Or we can get legalism, which... Give me those dollary dues, Please, plus 20% national tax modifier, manpower, technology cost. I think that sounds very bueno to me. So, we're going to adopt the title of... Khalifa, more yearly prestige and more legalism. We get less unrest and more legalism. We get more missionary strength versus those god darn heretics. And then we lose a hundred military power, which doesn't really seem good. We do get more national manpower modifier, so. Sure, why not? Right now we're making 9.55. Sivas, they are Shia, and we are Sunni. We might call it Jihad, I don't know. Don't ask me, I have no idea. Oh. We have a little bit of unrest, no one, yeah, that's okay, whatever, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, other than that, let's see, money-wise, I know corruption is a very bad thing, move that up. For, oh, do I want to have more money or not right now? Also, I have a cup of buttermint tea, Ottoman buttermint tea right here, so we're going to do that. This is probably a bad thing to do. Uh, I could give my ruler military command, but I'm going to use this army in the field very soon. We gain professionalism. It's probably not a good idea to do it, but I'm doing that because we can train these guys, even though it costs us a lot. If that's worth doing early game, let me know. I have no idea at the time of this recording. Oh, we need rivals. Well, actually, who rivaled us? Uh, Hungary, quite a Lithuania, Austria, Mamluks. Let's do the Mamluks at least. Thank you. We get some bonuses when we're fighting him in a war. I do not want to rival France or England. That doesn't make any sense. Venice? I really don't like Venice, especially since I have to go there, go there. But we'll do it anyways. I don't like Venice. And, let's see, are they up here? No, that's Crimea, which we might want to get eventually. I have no idea. I would like to expand as much as possible. Austria, I don't want to piss off the Austrians yet. Hungarians? We can piss them off. That sounds nice. That sounds very nice. And we have these advisor slots, but I don't think I can afford that. And the pirates? How do I get... Hmm. I suppose I could use these guys. Is it worth building an early car Carrick? Probably not, but I'm going to do it anyways. And you guys, select mission, hunt pirates here. Yes. I think that should be okay. It's going to cost us a lot. But, uh, hope it goes okay. I don't know. And there's a lot of things going on. I'm a trade league. I mean, I couldn't tell you what that is. But I'm here to have fun regardless. So we're building up a spy base over here. And which place was this? I think it's, yeah, this group. We want to offer vassalization so that they can basically be under, be under us for a while. Trade superiority. Numbers. What do the numbers mean? Someone knows. Well, actually, probably a lot of people know, except for me. Uh, increase relations, so I can get you guys under me, and then I can beat up these people, Karaman, who don't really care for us. Which is fine with me, I don't really care. I don't like them either. I don't like them anyways. Uh, I want to raise their independence as fast as possible so we can get a vassal. I like that. And how is this? Athens, they're allied with the Serbs, which... Serbia looking, looking a little thick. Not huge. Not huge by any means. We should be able to take them out, especially if we beat up the Byzantines fairly easily, maybe? I don't know. I just want to eat them all. I'm going to go om nom nom. 
Uh, I know this is more than just a war simulator game. Obviously, Hoi 4 is much more of a war simulator. But, oh. Oh, they're claiming territory of mine. But, so, I do want to explore and really learn how, actually, finally, how to play EU4. I think that'd be great. Can I go to war yet? No, I can't. Uh, covert things. So we want to fabricate a claim, unless we get free claims on them already. Let's see. Building a spy network. Wallachia, Serbia. They don't like me very much. There we go. Fabricate a claim. Oh, that didn't take that long. Uh, if we have a claim on a certain area, it might be easier to core. And I think we already core, you know, we have basically the same thing as Hoi 4, core stuff. Because we have missions over here. City of World's Desire. We need to own it, so then we get a permanent claim on different areas. A different claim, though. It's only a claim, it's not a core. Owns it. Claim, claim. I love these missions. It's like a, it's like the focus tree of EU4. Eh, it really doesn't matter. Just go ahead and fabricate a claim right there. Stop building a network. Uh, before we go to war, can I get you guys under me? Um, send warnings, improve relations. I don't. I want to save my money for now. Oh, oh no, no, no! You know, I'll take the stability hit because I can boost it back up. There you go. Yay! Is it worth spending administrative administrative power on stability? I don't know. I want to say yes though for now because stability gives you like more money and just helps your nation overall. Less unrest. The Kingdom of Italy and the Empire. Huh. I'm also joined here with my cat Binky, who may or may not want to leave my room at the time of this recording. Economy access. I can send him a gift to temporarily increase relations. There you go. It's only 25. I really want him under me first, though. Benign neglect. And that's actually really cool that you can now, like, it, you can go to where the provinces are. Hey, Binky, okay? Yeah? Come on, Bink. Take a nap. Things can do on their own. Local trade power. Hey, man, if I see tax, if it moves, tax it. Yes, please give me one moment, please. All right, Bink, you want to leave? There you go, buddy boy. And Saya Binky has left us for now. Cool. And just give me a few more days. Or a few more months, I guess, technically. Oh, and there to declare one Trebizon. Oh, up there. Cool. Just wait a little bit longer. And actually, it's probably best if we leave it undone for now, since we go out to fight these guys down here. Epirus. Was I not training these guys? I was not training these guys at all. That is so bad of me. Oh, maybe we had a general die, maybe. That's okay. Ulema losing power. Someone loses his influence. Neapolitan succession. Alphonse Last Testament. Well, okay then. Hey guys, would you like to be under us? Ah, uh, now that's amazing. Stop doing that. Thank you. And there we have our first vassal within like eight minutes. Awesome. Well, time to use and abuse our guys. I hope this goes okay. Let's see. Because I do, I know, I, wait. I can raise, oh, war taxes cost two per month while at war until canceled. Bruh, that's not bad then. How much money did that give me? Not much more. Darn it. Well, on estates, sale of titles, that seems good, but, hmm, I don't know. Max absolutism, I don't like that. Oh, also as the Ottomans, we can raise, I think, was it Jassinaries? Let me see, is that some sort of event or thingamabob like that? Is that slack in recruiting centers, getting manpower, but army professionalism goes down. That doesn't seem like a very good idea. Uh... Firearms. Ibadat Kana? Innovative ideas. Yeah, oh man. I In the past, I've seen people argue about which policies are best. Or not policies, but like texts. Or... Was it policies? I forget exactly which one it is. No, it was ideas. Yeah, ideas. Because discipline, I've heard, is very good to have. Like, incredibly good to have. More discipline is really good. Let me know which ideas I should take as time goes on. Because I would like to get as many ideas as fast as possible. I thought there was a way for us to mm, raise its government reforms, which is cool, but we don't really need that production. Oh, there they are. Jessenaries. We can only have 18. Yep, and they re are recruited very quickly. 
It's probably not a smart idea to do this right before you go to war. So, we'll go do it anyways. Cool. Uh, you guys hang out together? Hey, look at that. Mission fulfilled. Where is it? Reform the Imperial Army. At least 85% of the limit force. We get a ton of claims. Nice. Look at that. Amazing. Con consolidate Asia Minor. I really, really love that you can actually see which areas that you need to core or take to get these missions done. That is amazing. I love it. Right, let's, let's let these guys get together. That'd be nice. Everyone hang out together because we're going to beat up some Serbs. You know, that's all. That's okay. And these guys do cost quite a bit more reinforced costs, 100%. That's a lot. Um, I really don't use my general. But let's do it anyways because that's probably a bad idea. All right. So they have their allies with Serbia and Athens. I think it should be okay if we go to war. Serbia. Oh, you can actually see how much they have. 15,000, 3,000, 0. 30,000, 8,000, 0. What does this do? Will not be considered a co-belligerent. Well, who cares? Let's do it anyways. And there goes our ships. Immediately go in. You guys go in as well. And well, don't die. I hope the ships make it over here. No, I'm losing my galleys. Oh, hey, we won though. Nice. Hey, we won there too. Inspirational leader, nice. Oh yeah, we gotta keep an eye on manpower too. Uh... Oh yeah. Do I need an admiral? I probably should get an admiral. Probably. Just hanging out here. You have more ships, so don't please don't die. That's why we made a Carrick. Nice. We actually gained a ship. That's really cool. We sunk ten. Oh, that seems so nice, even though we don't have a lot of guys. Oh, hello. Serbia. Hello. What are you doing, son? Once we get the capital, it'll be pretty easy to do stuff. And let's see. Diplomacy. I usually like doing that. Neighboring countries as well as own subject countries. But if I can vassalize anyone else... I would gladly love to. Anyone else? Would anyone else like to be my vassal? Peacefully? Because I will put you guys down later on. Not fair alliance. No, no one wants to be friends. <sighs> okay. Can I go to war with you guys? I can. That's nice. Uh, they doing stuff over there. Oh. Nice. Competition for the king? As yet to name a favorite among his consorts, every one of them is maneuvering to take the rightful place along the Sultan. The Imperial Harem is rife with intrigue and right now making a well-informed choice for the position of Haseki Sultan. One of the highest honors imaginable in the Empire would seem all but impossible. Luckily, Mehmed II Faith's mother has a firm grip on the politics of the Harem and has presented Mehmed II Faith with a consort she feels would be a good candidate. Excellent. It's 363. The higher the number, the better. 335. I'll make my own choice as mother. Let's keep our options open. Man, mama knows best. Mama knows which woman I should get. Mm. That sounds really weird, but whatever. No, yeah, whatever. That's okay. Oh, pirates. Oh, God, no. Pol oh, Poland. Come on, man. Too many military. No. No. What the heck, man? Kill him. Hey, we did. Nice job. We actually did something. Oh, they're just kind of hanging out. Uh, Bruz. Yay, we won again. Oh, I, oh, I was gonna, oh my goodness, that's not good. That's not good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Money. Hmm. Inflation's not that bad. It is rising, though, which isn't very bueno, but whatever. That's gonna take a while. That's gonna take a while. We currently have 4.63 money being made a month. Chishiti Order, known for its emphasis on love, tolerance, and openness. The Chai Shot. Shitti order has spread to the provinces of Ottomans and their welcoming attitude to seekers who belong to other religions may prove a way to convert more people to Islam. They are rather strict in their belief that a Chishti teacher should not attend the court or be involved in the matter of state, as well as this will corrupt the soul with worldly matters. Some Muslims believe that music is haram, forbidden, while the practitioners of Chishti believe the song or listening to music can evoke the divine presence. Wow. this I don't know why this reminds me of followers of the apocalypse in Old World Blues. Accept them? Uh, I'm gonna go ex expel them, yeah. Expel these people. We don't like the followers of the apocalypse, so... There you go. And begin trying to siege you down the Ottoman... No, oh, not the Ottoman, the Serbian capital. Yeah. I remember forts, you can have to take one at a time or something like that. You know what, here. Help them out. Oh, that's 15. That's a lot of ships. Luckily, a lot of them are transports, though. Don't mind me, just making money while being at war. I like this. I like this a lot. It does cost us quite a bit of military. Wow. 
We still have nine a month? Jesus. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Please win, please win. Please get a dice roll. Oh, it's... Oh, the Serbs. At first, I thought it was Poland. I'm like, oh my goodness. Hey, we won. We lost 2,000 guys versus roughly 4,000. Jesus. That is awesome. Oh, they can't even siege him down because they're too weak. So, a Sufi sheikh has passed away in Bozak, and his followers are now putting up a shrine in his honor. Pilgrims from various parts of the country are already starting to come to the province to see the shrine of this great man. Some calling him a saint. Local notables have set aside a charitable donation to its maintenance, and its former pupils have opened a lodge nearby. While there's nothing wrong with honoring a great man, some more traditionalists among the pious and ulema feel that this form of worship is sacrilegious. Should Mehmed the Second Faith pay the shrine in Bozak a visit, it might do much, both for the prestige of the shrine itself, but for also his popular perception. Let us seek guidance at this holy place. Alright, no, that's kind of cool. We must not feed into the local superstition. More monthly autonomy change. Um, I'm gonna go with this, because legitimacy, even though we don't need any more, it sounds cool. Uh, administrative costs, I don't know, probably the other one would be better, but I want to get as much legalism as much as, as fast as possible. I'm glad we won there, though. Please do well, please do well. Come on, please, can we siege someone else down, please? Uh, what else should we do? Should, what else should I be doing with my diplomats, if you know? Also, Croatia's here, Bosnia and Herzegovina. I did not know Herzegovina was an actual place in the world. I always thought it was just like Bosnia and Herzegovina, but I guess they're two separate places. So much for my knowledge about the world. <laughs> Epirus, last time I played this, Epirus wasn't here, but you know what? I guess they're here now. Cool, and we can now start sieging that down. Very good. Siege down the rest of these guys. Well, actually, you know what? We'll come back down here. I want to finish these guys off. Hey, hey, the guy came here. Italian engineer available. See, a guy from Mantua, Guglielmo. Conti has arrived at a court, offering his services to the king. He claims to be well-versed in the art of building the formidable Italian bastion fort. The Trace Italian, which are military theorists, have been desperate to emulate. However, his services will not come cheap. If I get military power, I lose money. I get 40 more military power. I get a guy. I don't want to lose prestige. I'd rather lose a little bit of money for now. I'd, I want to get as much uh, command power. No. Uh, monarch points. That's what they call them. Nice. Casually just getting rid of a thousand guys. Keep teaching them down, boys. You're doing great. Follow those bad peoples. Oh boy, that does not look good. And eh, we don't have a great dice roll, but hey. I'm love. We just killed everyone. Okay, we'll come back to Corinth. You know, have a good time. I'm liking the Ottomans right now. I'm really liking them. Hey, there we go. Oh, that's not good. Uh, come on, help on down here. We, yeah, we get up. Actually, no, 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 no. Come help defeat Serbia first. We can separate piece them out, probably. Look at that. Beautiful. E Naxos is here, too. Look. Oh, my God. We got a nine dice roll. I'm acting as if I know what I'm doing. But nothing could be further from the truth, probably. Well, I kind of know what's going on. Uh, help them out, just in case. The Great Bullion Famine. Oh, boy. It doesn't apply to me, so I don't care. That's a lot of ships. Hey, you guys want peace? No. I want everything. Including Serbian stuffs. Nice. That's going to take a while. Uh, Luca? Sure. Sure, why not? Nice. Go ahead and find those Serbian boys and find them well enough. A shared interest. First time, Tarhan watched Mehmed the Faith second spouring with the soldiers in training. She was impressed. It's not every nobleman that would enjoy the manual labor of actually learning how to wield a weapon of his own, but King Mehmed the Second Faith is not any man, she thought before approaching her husband to compliment his skills. She even mustered the courage to ask his opinion on the current military situation of the kingdom. Intrigued by this mutual interest in the military aspect of the Ottomans, the king had gained a lot of new ideas for his army. 80% chance of getting 100 military power or 20% chance of... I don't getting a better score. Well, we got more military power. I love my military power. It makes me happy. I love making money too. Hmm. Hey. Oh no 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 no! You gonna be taught a lesson, son. You gonna be taught a lesson in Ottoman war tactics. Insta death. But yeah, the world's looking pretty good. Uh, playing the courts. I don't want to read every single one of these things. I would like to, but an entrepreneuring merchant in Izmit has become so good at this that, is, that it has angered not only the local population and his business competitors, but also the local governor. There's not much we can do about this without making inroads into the privileges of the ulema. 
Uh, legalism. We lose stuff. More monthly autonomy change. Ooh, that looks really bad. I don't want that, so. Nope. Can use Muslim piety actions. Or interactions. Forcing faithful adherence will move us by 50 towards mysticism, but impact corruption by minus 2. Corruption is 0. Um, I'm gonna wait. Maybe. Can I become more corrupt? I could debase my currency, but. Yeah. Could, does that mean we get, like, basically 165 monies? Well, hold on. For right now, right, we are, like, legalists. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Can I get free monies that way? But then again, what am I going to do with money besides make more armies? I mean, I love making armies. Oh, you guys come over here and set up. I'm not sure what we're going to do with Serbia. Maybe, I don't think we can vassalize them this early on. That'd be cool, but I don't think we can, so. Maybe I'll take a few territories, unless we have, we don't have claims on them yet. Oh, Hungry Declare one lost here. Well, okay then, have fun. Have fun with that. You guys come down here, help them out. Nice. Good job, guys. You deserve a pat on the back. Oh, come over here. Nope. And we have invested in new technology. 553. Uh, more morale, more military tactics. Sound good. I'm not exactly sure what they do. But cool, and we can also... Ooh, buy a stuff. You know what? For funsies? Let's just see what happens. So, I get a little more corruption. And... Do I have any more corruption? Hmm, looks like it says zero, so I guess not. A naval doctrine. What do I do with a naval doctrine? Let me know in the comments below. I'm not going to touch this yet. I have no idea. I like this one, Fleet and Being, so you can make more money, so you don't spend as much. Galley combat ability seems cool. Ship trade power, which would probably be good for us. Like I said, I don't know about, much about trade, but we want more galleys probably. Chance, chance to capture ships. Not a bad thing either, but like I said, let me know. Debate over selfie practices. If you want to read this, go right ahead. Do we support the hardliners or support the moderates? Oh, I am not a moderate. I am, I am a hardliner. Yes. We can build castles, but those are expensive. Those are ah, oh, there you go, nice, pretty good. Um, where's it, guys? There they are. Where are they headed to? Well, let's take a quick look here because I want to make sure we get the right thing. Conquer Greece. Oh yeah, I want all of that eventually. Growth through the Ottoman Navy. That's cool. Conquer Serbia. Well, we're doing that pretty nicely already. We're gonna need some of the coast of this tile of Venice. Oh God, no. Uh, so well, since there's fully siege down, I could take all of this. I can't make it my Puppet, which kind of sucks. War reparations, give up claims. Oops, I don't want to do that one. Release Montenegro, that's kind of cool. Annul tree. Yeah, this doesn't matter. Bosnia? Oh, they're allied with Bosnia. Well, this is probably a bad idea. Give me all that stuff. And give me money. Is someone going to make a coalition against me? Just Serbia? No one cares about them. Hey! I think we did pretty well. Now we're going to need some admin points, which. Should I boost this up some more? I seem it seems like I should. We're low over extended. I might wait to do that. Uh, nice. Now there's gonna be potential for rebellions and stuff, but hey, we expanded it in our first war and we're pretty successful. I'd say that's pretty uh, good. France is looking pretty terrible, honestly. Uh, Bohemia, Glogau, huh? Cool, and we want to take it. I want to blow up some enemy ships. Even though I don't think you really blow up ships here. There we go. We are in a naval battle. And we're both using galleys here, so... Oh, that, we had a pretty good dodge roll for a while. We're going to probably lose a few ships here and there. We lost one. Not bad. Go ahead and return home. I think I want to wait just a little bit of time so that we can... Oh, there goes a truce. Without all those people. So we can spend more time just coring this stuff, because it takes a while, apparently, to core. Uh, the Emperor's enacted an Imperial Reform. A call for Reich's Reform. It's kind of cool. I doubt anyone... No vassalization. I, yeah, I always check, but I don't think anyone really wants to be my vassal. It's really garbo. And now we have the Renaissance. Actually, you guys might still. You look like a royal marriage. This changes everything. Yes, Renaissance sounds like a good idea. Oh, we just, if we improve our relations, we should be able to ally them. Nope. And can't offer an alliance. Why is that? Oh, we're at war. That's why. It's going to raise relations for now. It's fine. And countries at war. How much war exhaustion do we have? Let's see. Do we? Is it somewhere here? War exhaustion? 
Siege ability, combat width. Extraordinary recruiting results, if you'd like to read that, go right ahead. Training morale. Morale of navies, army force limits. As many as possible, get more war exhaustion. Well, that might tell me where it is. Uh, we don't need any more war exhaustion. Just give us a little more manpower. We'd be fine with that. And that's going to take a while. Hey, sea boss is good. You know what? Let's go do this anyways. Sue for peace. I would like everything, if possible. Boom. Is that it? That's all I own. We get some prestige. We might get a few money monies. And I think, I hope, hopefully, I have enough admin power to do that. Nice. What does this say? National decisions. Make Constantinople the capital. We get one stability. Oh, if that's the case, we get a core in Constantin... Constantin... Uh, the culture becomes Turkish and religion changes to Sunni. And we get four base tax. You know what? We change our government rank to Empire. How about if I do this? Now, I could spend my admin points on coring. What if I got more stability first? Cost quite a bit. And then made it a capital get three stability. Nice. And of course, it's going to take some time. One, two. We can't do that one yet, but that's okay for now. And the mission is now fulfilled. The city of the world's desire. Beautiful. Now we need to conquer Greece, which means Aria and these little states which, who are allied with Ragusa and Venice. Hmm. If that's the case. We're no longer at war, which is a good thing. I guess for now, we can train. I'm going to send you guys to Constantinople. I'm going to keep you guys there. I guess for now, train. That'd be kind of cool. But, you know what? I think we should end the episode here because we've been pretty successful. We've taken some land out of the Serbs. We've taken Constantinople and finished off the Byzantines. Let me know in the comments below what I should do next and or any tips you guys have for me and how to play EU4. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like. If you're new here, check out my Discord link in the description below and subscribe. I will see you all tomorrow, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.